Hello and welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy. You are joining me for a super sculpting 45 minute classic bar class. And today we will be toweling it off. You will need a hand towel, roll it up into a little sausage like this. We're gonna be using it throughout to really create openness through the chest, a deep hugging action in the mid thighs. And that is gonna leave you standing tall and feeling fantastic. All you need today is a mat on the floor, grab some water as well, have that handy. And then make sure you can see me as you come into the center of your space ready to get started. So as I say, roll out the towel, just fold it in half, take it in half again until you have a long kind of sausage-like shape. Take your hands to the very outside edges. Let's take our feet to the outside edges of the mat, stand beautifully tall, and let's start by getting grounded and finding breath. Bend the knees deeply, slide down and touch your towel to the ground. As you roll up, stack up the spine, reach the towel to the sky and then melt the elbows wide as the towel slides behind your head. Beautiful. We're gonna do that two more times. Reaching up, folding forward, bend the knees as much as you need to brush the towel to the floor, let the head go heavy. As you roll back up, lift your spine, lift your gaze, your chest, slide the towel behind your head. Lovely opening for the chest, reach it up. One more time, gorgeous final flow forward. Roll on up. Melt the elbows, open the chest. This time standing tall, arms pressing wide. Reach over to the left side, come on over to the center, over to the right. Do that one more time, just easing into the side body, preparing you for the onslaught to come. And then go ahead and come center, bring the feet narrow, hip sockets width apart, keep tension on your towels, soften the knees, we lift and lift. Now I'm gonna suggest you start by lowering the towel to hip height. Let's see if we can touch the thigh to the towel for eight. Six, we're gonna bring it to shoulder height. See if we can get those legs a little higher, abs a little deeper. We go for eight. Little can-can, because -can, you can. Yes, silver liners, four. Three, now take it all the way to the sky. We've got this. Up and up. We're gonna add a twist to the lifted leg. It's up. So lots of twists coming your way, really activating the core from the get-go. Make sure you're breathing deeply, connecting mind and body, easy shoulders, eight. Roger Rabbit coming up on deck in four, three, two, and one. So again, find, again, a parallel stance. As you squat deeply, slide that towel in front of you, then kick your left heel back, diagonal line. We'll do the same to the right. Down we go, deep squat. Right leg at a diagonal. On the beat, we're down, up. So this is such a great way, again, to switch on abs, glutes, thighs, shoulders as well, as you press the palms slightly away from your center. That is gonna activate everything. Are you starting to feel that breath shorten? Make sure you're breathing deeply. Abs are switched on. Let's go for eight more. Eight, then we're hitting our press ups. Straight in there, nowhere to hide. Let's take four more, you've got it, four. Bend deeper, three. Yes, that's two. Step to the back of your mat on one. Fold up your towel once and once more, so it makes a nice little cushion. Place it between the inner thighs, feet together. Rolling down, melting the knees if you need to. Walk the hands out. Find a nice wide press up stance. Now, you have options, you can be full form, or take the knees to the floor. Whichever it is, we're going all the way to the ground. Down for two, up for two. Down for two, up. Now if you're full form, pressing and squeezing on your towel, hugging those abs in and up, ribs in and up. Good. Lovely work. A little faster for eight. We inhale, we exhale, pushing away any negativity. It could be a micro bend, it could be chest to floor. Do what you can. Four more. Three, then everyone finds full form. Yes, team two. Last one, find your full plank. Hands under shoulders, legs hugging your towel. Take a moment here to just find that center. Now from here, we're down, we're up. This is your commando move. These are challenging, your goal is to keep the shoulders and hips as still as you can. You could do it modified, it's all good. Those options are all there for you. Four more. We're gonna hold our forearm plank team in three. Are you breathing? Good. Two, I need to remind myself. Nice, 
Now we're all the way down. Find the number 11 with your forearms. Check the legs are centered and hugging. We find a little bend and stretch. It's knee tap and extend. I love that squeeze that you can get on the towel, activating pelvic floor and abs as well. Drive the shoulders down and wide. Lots of space between your earlobes and your collarbones. A little faster here. Bend press, bend press. Yes, team. Eight more here. Eight, seven, six, and five. Yes, squeeze four, squeeze three, squeeze two, and on one. Sit back to a brief child pose, taking the towel out. Oh, you can reach it out long. Press head to floor. As you roll up, swing the legs around. So we're heading into our abdominal warm up. You probably already felt your abs in that lovely plank. So we're going to start by reaching the arms out. Now, if you want a modification, just thread the towel underneath. That's going to give you a little more support. We're rolling back. We're rolling forward. So just finding your high curl. Now, with a high curl today, our knees are together, feet are grounded. If you feel you're losing your feet, or you can always come onto the heels. You go back, scooping the belly in and up. Easy shoulders. If you're here, I would stay in that low spot and use the elbows a little bit, just to give you that assistance. Two more. Then everyone's gonna hold their basement. Find your deepest point and hold. Little presses out on the towel. Eight, seven, curl deeper. Six, isometric hold in the abs. Nice action in those shoulders. Four, easy breath. Three, two, everyone unthread that towel, bring it forward. We slice to the right slice to the left. So it's like a little action of canoeing down a river. Squeeze the knees. They do not move. Take a glance to your knees. Are they swinging side to side? Please keep them in stillness. Yes. Good. You've got four. You've got three. We hold in two. Come all the way over to your right side. Find that little spot where you're twisted. It goes. Little twist, little twist, little twist. Nice, you've got eight, six, four, three, two. Now on one, go a little slower, slide the right leg out and then bring it back to center, just the right leg. Slides for two, comes on in. You can flex both feet, if that feels a little odd <laughs> with one pointed. Swift, good, two more. Hollowing out those abs, last one, hold, Reach the arms high, little twist for five, four, three, two. On one, come all the way up, reset for that second side. So we start by finding your twist over to the left. Little twist, 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 extending the towel. Yes, little tension there. Easy through the face, it's four. We flex the feet in four, three left legs, slide, slow it down. Slow twist and extend, sweep it back. I love how this rings out those abs, ringing out and supporting the digestive process. Three more, then we keep that left leg long, curl under more, two. So if you come up a little, make sure you're in your challenge point, come all the way down. Little presses there, four, eight, seven, six, and five, easy, four, three, Two on one, come on up, fold your towel once. Fold it again. We've got a double pulse and then a reverse tabletop. So hands come behind you for your tricep dips. If you need to make a fist, you do. Feet are glued together. Squeeze tight on your towel, hover your seat. Two pulses down, one big squeeze. It's down, down, squeeze and lift. Hover, hover, squeeze and lift. So you might come onto the heels for the pulses, then lower the toes to lift the hips. Down, down. Make sure you've got those hips in line with knees. Yes, four more. Getting the backs of the arms and opening the chest. Three. Now squeeze glutes and those thighs. Two more. Can you make your towel into a napkin? Last one. We stay high with the hips. Micro presses of the arms right at the top of the range. Can you add that squeeze of the glutes? Squeeze in the towel. Ten, nine. Yes, go eight. Seven, smiling, six, five, beautiful, four, three, two, hold, and release. Send the legs long, give those hands a little shake, wrists a little release, release your towel, hook it over your toes, and just take a forward fold. 
That should feel pretty good on those hamstrings and a little moment. Right, this is a bar free bar class. So we are gonna do a nice, long, centered workout with our wide second and curtsy. You will need that towel, like a little sausage again. Take the toes wide to the corners of your room. Slice your spine down. Reach your arms long. Find your deepest wide second, then find that beat. Little down, little down. Now, if I show you this in profile, your head and tailbone are aligned as though against an invisible glass wall. Notice the shoulders aren't rounded forward. They're plugging back in and down. We're using our back body, using the latissimus dorsi. So we're using that heartbeat, that rhythm. Catch it, four, three, two, hold it still. Little press out. We did this in our warm up. Why am I doing this? I want you to find that gorgeous open chest and active back body, four more. It's also taking your mind off the burn in your thighs. Three, two, one, heels shift. Right, left. So we're peeling the heel off, staying in our low position with that pulse for 10. Breathing, can you grow taller as you sink the hips deeper? We're gonna add a torso twist in four. Three, right heel stays high in two. Last one, right heel lift. We pulse over the right leg, two, three, four, back to center. Imagine you're cleaning a lovely table with your towel, twisting the torso, make sure that left knee is still rotating backwards. So it's not coming with you on that journey round to the right. Two, three, four, center. Two more sets. Then we're gonna stay over to that right side and take a little knee wrap. Good. Go all the way around, hold. Little knee wrap, right knee, right knee. I'll show you that little detail. So it's an activation of your glute. Yes, it's small and subtle. Make sure that left knee is still pushing back in space. Let's go for eight, six, four, three to the fun, two. Now, oh monkey, the knee wrapping open. See if you can lift that towel. Higher, 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 maybe gaze high. Little pulses. Oh, this beautiful extension for eight. That's six. It's four to the fun. Three, two, lower your right heel. We're gonna sweep left foot and left hand down as right arm lifts and step back to wide second. Two, two. Two to switch over between those two positions. Curtsy lunge, nice and over crossed. Back to wide second, make sure the heel presses down. Two to the center, two to the side. Four more. So beautiful deep sweep. Three, so strong, that right thigh burning. Two more, hold it there, little pulse. Whoa! And when I said we were sculpting, I meant it. Stay in it, stay low, stay deep, knees to that 45 degree angle, shoulders on your back. We're there, four, three, two, come center, hold. Lift the knee, tap it down. Lift the knee, tap it down, add a twist. If you're ready, then take it on the beat. Little pull, little pull, little pull, little pull. My right thigh is on fire, yes team. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, wide second in four, three, two, step it out, hold. Don't go anywhere, shake it out. This is your intermission. We go to the second side in four, three, two, left heel lifts, we pulse. Two, three, four, we're center. We stayed in it, right? But if you need to shake it out, if you're new to bar, know that that burning sensation is one to lean into. It is how we shape the body. It is so effective at raising your heart rate, raising your metabolic rate, and shaping and turning the muscles. Two more. Grow taller as you twist, so we don't slump into that waistline. Yes, we're lifted and rotating. Good, hold it there in stillness. Left knee goes, little wrap, little wrap. That detail again, it's in the glute, in the glute, in the glute. So you're getting thigh, you're getting glute, you're getting abs, right? Let's go for four more. Three, two, easy shoulders. Find and hold that wrap, little pulses down and down. As you pulse down, arms are gonna start to lift up on that high diagonal. Maybe your gaze could lift as well. Find a smile, yes team. 10, nine to that sweeping curtsy. 
You've got four, three, two, one. Lower the heel. It's a big sweep. Right arm, right foot across and back to center. Sweep it up and maybe sweep it center. Yes, all the way up, all the way center, all the way up, all the way center. So we're keeping it nice and slow and juicy, getting that maximum range of movement. As we age, our joints dry up, that range diminishes. I wanna keep you guys beautifully mobile, right into the point where you're welderly. Good, let's do one more, make it super juicy, super deep, all the way around, good. Now hold it in your curtsy. Little press, little press. That knee is almost touching the mat. Knees at 45 degree angle, twisting through your torso, activating abs for eight. That's six, four, three, two. Come up to center, right knee lift, lower. Now that first one is definitely a little bit of a challenge. Then we find our center, we find our balance. Why do we do that? We find our core, adding a little twist, center. Could we do it on tempo? Twist. Twist, whoo, yes team, that left thigh on fire. It's eight, seven, six, and five. Lovely, four, three, two, one, done. Oh my goodness, breathe it out. I know you want more, right? Yes, fold your towel. Oh no, don't fold your towel, keep it there. Now if you need another towel beneath your knees or to double up your mat, you do. This is called thigh dancing. We're gonna take one fist distance between your knees. You're gonna reach that towel out in front of you. Find length through the back of the body. So squeeze your glutes, lengthen out the front of the body. So you're beautifully kneeling. Starting with a hinge, we lean it out for four. Lift up for four. Now ribs are in, abs are tight. They scoop in and underneath the rib cage so that you don't flare as you lean back. You should have nothing going on in the lower back no sensitivity, no pain. So if you do have that, make it a smaller range and tuck more. Four more. And lift. Beautiful team. That's two. And lift. Woo. Last one. Hold it at your deepest point. Start to tuck, 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 and tuck. Now this is where your thighs start to fire up. We're gonna sink down to just a hover off those heels. We're there in four. That's four tuck, three tuck. I know, two tuck. Now down to a hover. It goes left, down, right, down, left. So lifting up and down, but not sitting on those heels. Promise yourself, you are gonna stay in this. Lean back further, find your edge. Here we go, now hold it, center left. Right, left, right. We're back to that little sexy shake. How sexy can you make it today? Woo, let's raise the roof, team. That's 10. That's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 and one. Woo, fold your towel. You know we've been here before. These are your press-ups. You can go full form or modified. I'm gonna show you that full form. This time, reaching legs behind you, find a little press. All the way down, all the way up. Press back with a twist, push on forward. One set more slowly, down, up, twist, push. You got it? Yes, you have. Down, up, twist, exhale, push forward. Down, up, twist, push. So four little moves, honor each part of it keeping abdominals working, keeping breath flowing. I know, so many things. You can do this, silver liners. Nice. Two more here. Down, up, push. Beautiful, down, up, push. Hold it center, find your stillness. It's that little combo up and down to finish off before we stretch. I know you can do it. Whoa, two more sets. Now I like to alternate my commandos because it means you don't become kind of one way reliant. Last one, hold it at the bottom. Find the number 11 with those hands. Make sure your feet are glued together, squeezing on your little towel. We knee bend. Maybe close your eyes, maybe go internal. This is the last little push before we stretch. That halfway mark is in sight. 
10, squeeze it, nine, yes, breathe, get out for five, four, three, two, and press back. I like to remove that towel, separate the knees, maybe spider fingers or even opening palms to sky, just a little wider than mat, width apart. Beautiful breath in, beautiful release, good. Let's go ahead and stay here and take a saddle stretch. So, right hand behind you, sweet left arm high, press the hips forward and gently reach your gaze around to see your thumb. Maybe bend and stretch this arm a few times. I feel really good. Nice. And then as you sweep the other way, left hand by left foot, kind of on a diagonal line really. And then take your gaze around to your left thumb. It's a bend and a stretch. I'll show you the other angle to say you have that. But again, just watch the ribs. The more you tuck the pelvis, the more stretch for the front of the hip and those poor thighs, you will get come all the way down. Go ahead and reach the legs in front of you. We'll take a little move of those sit bones. Again, we're just gonna loop our towel over. Taking a minute here for the hamstrings. So lengthen through the heels, draw the toes back towards you, lift your spine. Already for many of you, that may be a stretch. So if you need to bend your knees, you do. And then we fold forward, using the elbows, keeping the spine long, gaze lifted. Notice I haven't gone very far. Yes, I'm looking for that true stretch right from the base of the hamstring muscle, right at the line of your glute. This is preparing you for your seat work to come. And as many of you know, the seat work is intense. So we need to prepare. Good, you can go a little deeper when you're ready, letting the head fall forward. Nice release for the shoulder of the face. Ah. And take a sip of water if you need it before the next onslaught. So we're gonna fold our towel up again lots of towel management today. And if you are stacking your workout and you want to come back to this tomorrow, this is a good place to pause. For those of you who are warriors and are carrying on, you come with me. So we're in a four point kneeling situation. You're gonna have your wrists under your shoulders and the towel goes behind your right thigh. So squeeze the calf up, make sure the wrists are underneath the shoulders. If you have wrist issues, you can make a fist or come to full arms, it's all good. And then make sure the right knee is kind of directly underneath your center so you have a point of stability. We're gonna flex the foot and push it up in three counts. It goes lift, 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 and down. Now notice we have four points, two shoulders, two hips. They are facing the mat beneath you. Your leg is absolutely parallel and knee touches knee as you bring it down. It's three, two, one, lower. Lower back, absolutely still and stable team. Getting into that hamstring and glute, but without stressing out the lower back. Three, two, one, lower. We're gonna catch that new beat in a moment. And if you need at any point to adjust the towel because you have slidey leggings like me, it's all good. <laughs> two more. And down, last one, all the way up and hold. It looks like this, we go squeeze and hold. Squeeze, heel, hold. Now this is a good opportunity to check your balance. You should be able to give me a wave with your left hand. Hi, four more. Three, then we take a combo. Two, two squeezes, one knee drive down and up. We go squeeze, squeeze, point to lower, flex to lift. Squeeze, heel, squeeze, heel, point lower, flex, squeeze. So that little choreography with the foot is all about getting into a different kind of muscle activation. But if it feels too much to coordinate today, maybe do it next time. It's squeeze, squeeze, lower, lift. And if your hamstring feels a little crampy, that is absolutely what I wanted for you today. So stick with it. But if you need to shake it out, you do, and then you jump back in. Point and flex. Last little one here. Back to those heel squeezes. It's in, in. Now, little challenge for you guys. If you want it, you're gonna hook that left toe underneath. Keep squeezing. You'll see why in a moment. Four, three, two. Back to your double squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, point lower. This time, hover the supporting knee. Squeeze, squeeze, point lower, lift. Oh, and it just came alive. So now we're getting it all. Abs, thighs, glutes, hamstrings on fire. Good. Nice. That's three. We're going to hold it up there. See if you can add that knee lift in. Two more, you can do it. I believe in you. Last one, we're gonna keep it high. Double time with those heel squeezes. Hold it, three, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's 10, nine, eight. I lost my towel, it doesn't matter. Six, five, four, three, two. Lower the knee, 
rotate around. Oh, when we found our pretzel. Now I'm gonna twizzle around, but your left shin can be parallel to the front of the mat. Right knee is in line with your hip. Make a little sausage position with the towel. And we're gonna send that slightly over to the left so we have a little support. Starting out with a little mobility for the hip. We lift the knee, we lift the toe. We lift the knee, we lift the toe. Now a couple of important things in your pretzel. Your shoulder and hips are pointing forwards. Your abs are in and up, your chest is open. For some of us it's more accessible, kind of over to the left. So see what you need to do today. Last set for this mobility exercise. It can feel frustrating if it doesn't really work. Go ahead and see if you can hover the knee now. Just off the floor, dial your knee down, toe up. Lift your abs. We go lift, hold, lift, hold. So the pretzel, very challenging. If this is absolutely new and impossible, come down to the left forearm. But if you can, you're gonna stay pulling on your towel and slightly across to the left to give you that range. You've got four more. Three more, beautiful. Two on your last one, hold. Flex your back foot and give it a little press across to the left, back to the center. Across to the left, so it's as though we're on a glass table. Across to the left, I'm aiming to get my left shoulder and my right heel to meet. They won't, of course, it's just in a guide. It's like an elastic band connecting the two. Now see if you can lift your towel off. For some of we, you have you even, you can twist across. So it goes little twist. Little twist, little twist, little twist. 10, nine, eight and seven, six. One more set after this. Four, three, two. Now for some of you, rest the hands down. Three quarter length the leg and then see if you can lift it up from there. We go little kick, kick. Some of you will be able to reach those arms high, gaze high, chest high. Gorgeous, smile it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, it's a diagonal line, three, two, and on one. Fold your towel, final push. Fold the towel, place it between your calf muscles. Squeeze them hard, come all the way down onto your upper arm. You're like one line. Fingertips on your right hand in front of you. We go, lift, lift, a little lower. Lift, lift, a little lower. So we're hitting in the thighs. We're hitting our side body, getting a little squeeze on. Also getting those abs engaged. Good, it's four, three, good, two. We're gonna hold it at our top range. Tiny presses up and up. Are you squeezing that towel? I hope so. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Yes, team, four, three, two, 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 and one. Whew. Go ahead and bring your right foot over your left knee. See if you can get both sit bones in the ground. Take a little twizzle around. Your marichasana for the yogis in the room. So right hand is behind seat. Left elbow can hook over, or you can just use the forearm, whatever feels good. Whew. So I'm excited about the second side. How about you guys? Take a sip of water if you need it. Let's remind ourselves we need to fold out that towel, the one that ran away. No worries if that happened. You will still be getting all the activations. And then we're coming onto our left side. So towel behind left knee, make sure you've switched sides. You're either on those wrists, or if it's too much there, come to the forearms. That will be a bit more supportive. Go ahead and squeeze the knees together. Flex your left foot and lift three, two, one, point to lower. Now, all the things still apply. Square shoulders, square hips. It is all about that lift through the pelvis that supports the lower back which in turn allows you to access your glutes and hammies. So you will not feel them if you're sinking and collapsing. Three, two, one, tap it down. So it's all about a smaller range of motion sometimes that gives you real kick, like feedback in that glute and hammy. Maybe close your eyes. Two more. Good. Last one, stay at the top of your range. Squeeze it in, squeeze, hold, squeeze, hold. Now this was again a good opportunity to say hi. We're really friendly here at Silver Linings. We're also checking that your alignment is good. Again, I've lost my towel, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pop it right back in. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Two squeezes, one lower lift. So it goes squeeze, squeeze, point to lower, flex and lift. It's one squeeze, two squeeze, point in, flex, lift. Once you've found that, 
Again, maybe test your balance. Maybe reacquaint yourself with an abdominal lift. Oh yeah, maybe find your breath. Uh-huh, I stopped for sure. In, in, down, up. Four more. Beautiful control, yes team. Three, I'm losing my towel again. Two more. If you just wanna chuck it to one side or at the camera, you may. <laughs> down, up, and squeeze. Now back to your squeezes here. Can you tuck those right toes under? You know what's coming, it's that challenge set. So we go squeeze, squeeze, lower hover lift. Squeeze, squeeze, lower hover lift. Now the hover is just an option for those of you coming back to fitness or maybe you're new to the technique. It's all good to keep it grounded. Two more. Last one. We're gonna keep it lifted, double time squeezes. We go squeeze, 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 squeeze. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, on one. Smoothly release your towel, swing your leg around. You know what, in rehearsal that felt really good. In practice, I need you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So, right shin bone this time in line with the front of your mat. Left knee in line with hip. Rotate that right hip forward. Make a little sausage out of your towel and have that handy in front of you. Not just handy, but active. So hand hold the towel and we sweep it across to the right side a little bit just for support. It looks like this, knee lift, toe lift. Remember this annoying little mo mo mobility exercise. So why is it good? Because it's teaching you where that hip needs to be. It's also just kind of juicing up your hip joint. This is an uncomfortable range for many of us, but so good for us, so strengthening. Are your abs lifted at the same time? Open chest, two more. Breathe. Last one, we're gonna try and hover the whole leg off the floor. This is where you might need to adjust further off to the right or even to the right forearm. See what you can do today. It's a slow lift, we go up, hold. Now remember that heel squeeze you had in our all fours? You are still there. It is still actively pulling in. It will feel like it's cramping. Embrace it. If you need to shake it out, you do. And you jump right back in. That's how it goes. Four more. Woo, three. We're flexing in two. Now we flex the foot, slowly press it across to the right. Remember I said I think about my heel trying to reach around to my right shoulder. So it's a circular little pull, a little bit like our gorgeous curtsies earlier. Thinking about these wonderful lines of movement. Four more. Maybe those towels could lift up now. Three, maybe not yet. See where you're at. It's two, maybe you need to lean further. It's okay. Last one. It's no one's favorite, but it's so good. We go, little press, little press. You're only here for 10 more counts. 10, nine, eight, finale coming. In six, five, four, three, two. Lower the leg, extend it three quarter length. Maybe use the floor for support. It's a little kick, little kick. Some of you can lift those arms. Some of you could give me a smile. Just pull that towel apart. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Fold the towel, quickly lie all the way down. You know you love this little end part. You can have it in the inner thighs or the calves. Lift, lift, lower. So we're one straight line, not a banana shape. It's all about that beautiful reach through the heels, length through the crown of the head, squeezing on your towel. Four more here. Three, so good for the waistline. Two, hold it. Press your legs even longer as you take micro lifts up and up. I want that towel to become a napkin again. It's eight, seven, beautiful. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest on one. Ooh, that well-deserved little twist is coming. Pop, left foot across right knee. Melt the left sit bone into the ground. Twist, so left hand comes behind sacrum and right forearm comes along the seam of your legging. Or indeed, hook your toe or elbow even over. Grow taller as you twist and then gently arm twist. So, we've got some abdominal work to do. Again, we're gonna fold up that towel. Place it in between the inner thighs and then come all the way down to your forearms. Once you're there, can you lift your pelvis up and tuck it under? And then again, we're gonna flex the feet 
and we're going to bring our elbows forward. So our elbows are slightly in front of the line of my boobs, or wherever you are, gentlemen, don't worry about that, just mid rib is good. We're gonna curl up and hold. So this little curl is a modified mid back curl or traditional curl, very challenging. For those of us who have short torsos, and I'm one, I find this so hard, I am shaking already. So if you are shaking at home, no, you're in great company. Good, slow up hold. It's a hollowing and lift, hollow and lift, hollow and lift. Let's take four more. Can we squeeze that towel as well? Exhale, four, three, two, right on the beat. In three, two, one, little squeeze and lift, exhale. Stay in it. So simple, so effective. Four, three, then we add a leg slide. It's two. Last one, it looks like this. Double leg slide, pull on in. Pulse four, three, two, one. Double leg slide. Squeeze at home. Four, three, two, two more. You can all the way long or three quarters. Work with your body. Four, three, two, one. Last one, push it long. Pull it in. Four, three, now here's the fun. We're gonna send it three quarters, hold it there. Awful extension. You can either be on your elbows or place the hands by your thighs. We're heading into a full roll up. Yes, I know, we're there in eight, six, hollow deeper. Four, three, two. Now you have options. You can either do your roll up with three quarter length legs, using the hands and the thighs as your stability. If you're ready for a full roll up, Arms start by reaching two inches off the mat overhead, ribs, abs in, squeezing on your towel. We curl it up, roll on up, reach forward. Come halfway back, exhale to the mat. We're only doing a few of these, so good for your spinal mobility. So as I said, if you're doing the kind of slightly more modified version, you can just slide the hands down the sides of the thighs to give you that stability. Inhale up. Exhale forward, three, two, one. Last time, everybody meets in that forward fold. So wherever you are, you're either here or long legs. Now, for some of you, you'll keep the long legs. Holding onto your towel, you can either be three quarters or long legs. You're gonna lean back. See if you can find your challenge point where you find that quiver, that shake. Hold it, start to take your little canoe back down the Amazon. Squeezing legs together, finding a little torso twist. We've been doing this all session and it is so good for your spine. Beautiful. You've just got four more. Four, three, good job. Lean a little further, hold it to the right. We squeeze in the heel, we send it up. Stay with the right leg. So I'm dragging my heel. It gives a little resistance and a little more work for the core. Two more. Beautiful. Last one, hold it there. Option to stay there and just add the twist or add a little kick of the leg. You're there for eight, six, four, three, two. Come all the way up, hold. Find the other side. So it's over to the left. It's all the way up. It's over to the left. So you're kind of dragging that heel along the inner seam of your right legging. Could you lean further back? Oh yeah, find your challenge point. Two more, then we stay in the twist. Last one, hold, stay in the twist. You're either here, just little wraps, or find that little leg kick, can, can. Eight, six, yes team. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna have a little fun, okay? So, hook the towel around your feet. Sit up as tall as you can, use your arms. Find a tabletop. This might be where you stay today, just trying to find your balance, all good. Could you go a little longer with the legs? A Little more, little more. Now this is your teaser, here's the fun bit. Can you release a towel? Can you bend your knees in, thread it over the towel and extend? Bend in, towel to sky, toes to sky, bend in. Woo. High legs, low arms, high arms, low legs. Woo -hoo. Two more sets, wherever you are, find your challenge point, breathe in it. Be proud of it. You are nearly done. And all the way up, hold it there. Five, four, three, 
two, and one, release. Coming onto our front, final push team, you can do this. So we're gonna lay on our front, if your back is sensitive, go with a very, very low lift off the floor. Again, arms are gonna reach in front, tension on your lovely band. I'm rotating my heels in, toes out, and I've got a V shape with the legs. Arms along, we lift and lift, we lower down. Notice I'm taking a very small range, really only just off the floor. Your goal is to lift your abs before you lift your body. So abs, then torso and lower. Can you pull the towel apart so that you feel that lovely shoulder girdle opening? Yeah, it's actually a really nice sensation. This time we hold, we're gonna sweep it all the way. Over left, come back center. You did this in your warm up. Now it's all about that back body and abdominal strength all the way side. So it's not the arms moving, it's the torso taking a side to side bend. Let's take four more. So strengthening for the back body. Three, and we forget about our back body, don't we? We see the front all the time. Two more, and we're staring in the mirror. The last one, center, hold it there. Now you could lower the arms for a moment, take a reset, all the way up with the arms. This time we hover the legs and we start to take our swimming action. You can bring it parallel, long toes, soft low gaze, nothing soft about those core muscles. You've got 10, you've got eight, you've got six, five, four, three, two. Sweep the towel behind you. Take a slightly tighter grip, squeeze your heels together, lift your torso. We beat, beat, beat. So now again, pulling the towel apart, but with that tighter grip, we'll feel a lovely chest opening. Can you shine your sternum forward? Give me a smile. Gorgeous tap to the heels, lift your core deeper. You've got 10 more here, 10 then you're out. Nine, squeeze it, eight, seven, easy, six, five, you can, four, three, hold. And release, ladies and gentlemen, gently, slowly, mindfully, send your sit bones back to your heels, separate the knees a little wider than hips and let the head roll onto the mat. You made it. Let's stretch together, remember the stretching is as important as the workout. It is how we ensure that we stay injury free and also get that long, lean muscle tone that I know you all want. So without further ado, grab your towel, come all the way down to the mat, bend your knees and separate your feet, hip sockets width apart. Let's take the left foot and loop the band, not the band, the towel over the foot. Slowly start to extend to the point where you get a stretch. I'm not so interested in it going overhead, I'm interested in it remaining directly over the hip. If you're very flexible, extend your right leg even into the mat, flexing the foot as well. Hold and breathe, pulling the toes back towards you. Make sure you're activating the abdominals, that will give you a deeper sense of length. When you're ready, both sides of the towel come into your right hand, your left hand goes a little wide, and you're just bringing the leg a couple of inches across and then high diagonal. I want you to feel a kind of a nervy sensation down the IT band, that's the outside seam of your left thigh. Good, and then we're gonna go all the way over. Ooh, big, big stretch. If that feels too much, just bend the knees. It's all good. Just want you to get that spinal twist, gaze in the opposite direction. Gently bring the leg back and switch sides. So, left foot grounded right heel to sky. You may not be able to fully extend your leg, that's absolutely fine. Go to a point where you get a stretch. And again, remember, it's not overhead, it's that direct above hip alignment that I'm in search of. That is a truer stretch for your hamstring. Then think of dropping the tailbone down, the ball and socket melting into the mat. Long left leg if that's available, flexing the foot strongly like you're standing on it. And then both sides of the towel come into the left hand this time. We draw the leg across and just a few inches up on the diagonal to get that nervy sensation through the outer right thigh. When you're ready, in your own time, just melt that leg all the way over. You can bend it, you can stretch it, you can release the towel and hold your own foot. It's all good. Guys, I'm so proud of your efforts. I hope you are too. As you come back to center, just rock and roll a few times through the spine allowing for a little fun <laughs> here at Silver Linings. I hope it's been fun. Come all the way to standing in your own way and then just take a moment to breathe together. Heels together, toes apart. Take one deep breath in, drawing the palms together, 
and exhale, bring the hands all the way to heart center. I want to thank you all, giving you a big round of applause there for your efforts. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already. Please go ahead and try another workout either now or later on. And we look forward to seeing you guys back on the mat very soon.